Hi everyone, James Whittemore here at Wellenbra Golf Club and today I'm going to talk to you about how to tackle them longer irons. What's different between hitting a long iron and a short iron? Why do we find it so much harder to get some consistency with a 4 iron or a 5 iron than I do if I'm playing an 8 iron or a 9 iron? By the end of this video, I would have run through some key components in order to get more successful, more consistency with your longer irons. Setup. Do we change our setup, like I said, between an 8 iron and a 9 iron? as opposed to hitting a four iron, five iron. Body position, angles, does this differ? The next thing we're gonna be looking at is technique behind the swing. You know, what changes again, like I say, when I'm hitting a four iron, five iron, as opposed to hitting that shorter iron. And lastly, I'm gonna give you some nice drills and some tips to take away with that's gonna help you get better at hitting these longer irons more effectively, more consistently, and just give you a happier view on hitting them longer shots. Okay, uh, let's get stuck in and let's see what we can do. Okay, first things first, basic principles. Let's get ourselves set up in the correct manner uh, when we're playing these sort of shots. So, I've got the four iron in my hand here. Now this is the longest iron I carry. Uh, and to be honest, in a modern day set now, you won't really see clubs go beyond the four iron. Uh, it tends to sort of go from anything like say four iron to wedge and there's a lot now that obviously go from five iron to wedge or six iron to wedge hybrids have become a longer iron replacement but you definitely wouldn't really see anything lower than a four iron in a modern day set so with my four iron what i'm going to do i'm going to take my normal stance and setup naturally i'm probably a little bit more upright than i would be if i'm say playing an eight iron or a nine iron because the club's longer so the club's a little bit longer so naturally i adjust myself for that position so i've adjusted myself for that position so now i'm in my sort of correct posture i'm bent from my hips I feel nice and athletic and what i'm doing is my ball position is just going to creep slightly further forward of center in my stance so a way to uh, gauge that and get a feel for that is i'm going to get myself set here and if i just put this club head just inside my left heel as you can see there and i draw a line from the toe of that club head to the ball, you can see that that'll just run inside that ball. So the idea is, like I said, that's just a nice little indication of where I'm at. Like I said, so I'm slightly forward of center. And again, if I look down, it's just on my logo, just inside my lead armpit uh, ball position. It's on the logo of my top there. Once I've got my ball position in place, uh, and then thinking about sort of my body weight. Where's my pressure shift in regarding my lead and trail foot? It's 50-50. So this is quite, this is a big one and this is a bit of a misconception sometimes when people get these longer clubs is they feel like they need to put a little bit more weight on their back leg and almost help it in the air. Because of the, because of the state of the club being very straight faced, the sort of the misconception, like I say, is I need to get this ball in the air because I've got such a straight club, I need to help it. No, don't do that. What I want you to do though, is we are gonna split our weight evenly across 50-50, but once I've kind of got my weight evenly there, ball position in the correct place, just with my sternum, I'm just gonna tilt so it's slightly behind the ball. So again, if I just kind of get myself set here, just a slight tilt, nothing major, not, not tilting right on my, so I'm all on my back leg, on my trail leg, I'm just slightly behind. So the zip line on my top now is just slightly behind the ball. So coupled with the fact that my ball's a bit further forward, sternum slightly behind, these two factors are really gonna help and contribute me trying to hit the ball on the rise almost, like collecting the ball on the way through. You know, that's what I'm really trying to encourage, guys. I'm just trying to encourage to collect the ball. I'm not looking at getting a mass amount of interaction with the ground, because so I'm just trying to collect it on the way through. Because if I place my Again, 50-50 with my weight, ball position as it is, but just pop my sternum now ahead of the ball. Automatically, it changes the dynamics of the swing. So now all of a sudden I become very steep. My angle of attack becomes a lot steeper, like I say there. And as I'm delivering that golf club into the ball, as you can see, I'm almost de-lofting the club now. And I haven't got the speed or the strength to get that ball airborne as I would like a four iron to fly. It's going to go low. It's not going to give me the 
the correct or the maximum carry that I know I can get if I deliver that loft of club onto impact as I want it to be. So like I say, when I'm set here, making that movement and as I, like I say, as I move my pressure back into the ball, I'm collecting it through. Sternum stays behind the ball there. And I'm just collecting it through. Let me hit one for you, just to give you that idea. You can see the feeling. Another key component when we're playing these sort of longer irons uh, is we, we're effectively, we're probably quite far out to the green. All right, so me hitting a four iron in the vicinity of say 200 yards, it's a long way in. Uh, so my, I need to manage my expectations. Again, we're all guilty of this, regardless of, of ability, uh, where you're at, you know, we're all guilty of probably going a bit gun ho too many times. So if I'm looking at the green now and looking at the flag, I'm just going to go middle of the green. Regardless of where the pin is, I'm just going to go middle of the green because, you know, if I'm hitting the green with a four iron from 200 yards, I've got to pretty much be happy with that, you know. So again, it's managing expectations because if I get a bit greedy, and try and take a flag on, a few things change. Now I get a little bit more tight, a bit more tense, put pressure on myself, my swing gets shorter and faster, lose my rhythm, lose my accuracy. So middle of the green, take the pressure off to a certain extent, get it up there and give myself an opportunity and a chance at still making a decent score. Right, so after we've addressed our pre-swing principles, our ball position, our, where our sternum is based at setup, how our weight distribution, our pressure shift is over the ball. Uh, we're more comfortable uh, over the ball now, so now we've got to think about uh, the technique. And this little drill uh, can really help you get that sort of feeling that we're after when we're hitting the longer irons. So as I discussed in setup about kind of trying to collect the ball on the way through, this drill very much emphasizes that point. As you can see, I've got it, I've got it pegged up now on a tee, probably that sort of driver height. Uh, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to say I take my four iron and I'm going to get myself set up over this ball like I'm going to hit it. But all I'm going to do, I'm going to just before I go, I'm going to hover the club level with the golf ball now. So I've hovered the club level with the golf ball. And what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to encourage, I'm trying to encourage a, an action or a contact where I'm just sort of collecting the ball on the way through, just sort of picking it off the tee. Uh, and I'm, like I said, I'm just trying to get that feeling. Now, the reason that is, the reason that is because all of this is in aid of trying to not get so steep on the golf ball with a long iron. And this is a really good one, guys, if you suffer with coming over the top of the ball, you know, getting a bit steep on it, getting this sort of angle here, because every time I do that, oh, we know that the, obviously the long grinds haven't, hasn't got much loft on it. Obviously, as we know, it sits very straight faced when it's down on the ground. So the more I encourage that sort of action of that over the top movement, I'm not creating the maximum loft that I want for this golf club, hence this drill. And you'd be amazed the difference in ball flight uh, if you can start to perform this drill with some kind of uh, consistency uh, in, and style to hit the shot. So, like I say, the reason what I'm going to try and do as well is also what you can do when you are building, just build it up. So gradually work through the shot. So I don't mean stand there and go gun ho and hit it as hard as you can straight away. Get the feeling. Like I said, it's always feels, guys. Get the feel for this, you know, bit by bit, quarter swing, half a swing. And like I say, really just try and collect that ball off the top of the tee. Let's give one a go for you. Let's get myself set. Got my angles right. Okay, as you can see, uh, I was at no point was there right, full tilt there. I was just really trying to encourage collecting that ball off the tee, which I achieved. Once you've got quite comfortable doing that, uh, you've had a series of shots, you know, getting used to that feeling um, with the iron and collecting the ball, is start to make it a little bit more challenging. So bring the tee down lower and lower and just, like I say, keep trying to sort of pick it off. And then when you're eventually feeling even more comfortable, pull it off the tee, back onto the mat, and again, have that same sort of feeling. So it's important to mention that, you know, we're not encouraging a flick or anything else like that. We are just encouraging that sort of collection on the way through. I'm just really trying to get away from this 
steep angle and just trying to use the loft on the club, encourage that movement as opposed to getting steep and tight on the back of the ball. Okay guys, hopefully that's given you a bit more of an insight into how to tackle them longer irons, giving you the tools you need from a setup point of view. You know, what differs there in regards to ball position, stance, body positions, where my sternum is over the ball, all of these things that's gonna help us encourage to get that stride, to collect the ball, to deliver the loft, not de-loft the club, not getting stuck. And also uh, giving you that drill as well, you know, using the tee, trying to collect the ball off the tee. All of these things can help you become a much better longer iron player. Thanks very much, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like what you see, hit the like button, leave a comment. Love to know you get on uh, when we can play golf again. And uh, subscribe to my channel for more videos to come. Thanks very much.